Are you impressed by the lineup? We've been waiting a long time. You know, it's interesting. As you say, this is the first iPad news we've received from the company in almost two years, perhaps a year and a half. And the, the announcement felt incomplete to me. Um, this announcement was, as I think we expected, all about the hardware. The iPads are thinner than before. They're lighter. They're faster, as you'd expect. And Apple did make a hint at the device's AI capabilities. Um, there's so much that is still unanswered, particularly about the software experience, and as I imagine everyone is thinking, the AI capabilities. Um, the company isn't expected to get into any of that until its annual software developer conference, which usually takes place in early June. So right now we've got some promising notes. We know a lot about the hardware. Uh, we're still wondering, in a sense, what can it do fully with the software? And who is it for? And I only say that because the devices are so increasingly laptop-like. Yes. But Apple also sells laptops, which were not mentioned today. Yeah, so I mean, for me, as a commuter, an iPad makes an awful lot of sense. But if you're a designer, if you're someone who's wanting the power of a Mac, are you ever going to be getting this and an iPad? Or who do you think the overall consumer is, from your perspective? Um, I think these are perhaps um, laptop replacements or secondary laptops, if you will. Um, it's interesting to me, uh, the higher end iPads here are the first um, iPads that have OLED screens. And this yeah. is, in just in shorthand, a much um, more advanced screen technology than even the Macs have right now. Um, some competing PC makers do have laptops that have OLED screens, but not Macs. So if you're looking for a laptop-like experience with a really superior display, actually the iPads might be a better choice than yeah. some Macs. People are liking the stylus, liking the ability with which you can interact with it as well. Overall, though, we've been waiting and waiting. Do you think ultimately the fact that we've been sort of the, a drought of new iPads will just galvanize demand going into this product? Apple would certainly certainly hope so. Um, the most recent quarter was particularly disappointing for Apple in terms of iPad sales. Um, and it would make sense when you remember that the, ard the hardware really was so stale. Um, and consumers aren't stupid. They, um, they do know, um, they understand something about the rhythm of iPad and Apple um, update cycles in general. And I, I wouldn't be too keen on buying something that hadn't been updated in over a year, knowing that Apple is likely to have an update around the corner at just about any time. And then we have the hand-wringing issue of Apple being behind the curve, so to speak, when it comes to artificial intelligence. Many would say, look, it just it always comes in a little bit slower, but then comes with strength. Are you feeling from an investor perspective, but from a user perspective, that AI on an iPad or AI on device is really going to be a winning formula for Apple? Yes, I expect Apple to um, have some interesting news. I don't know what it's going to be, but I do believe Apple is going to be talking quite a bit about AI at its coming conference. I also think to some extent, um, this is a little bit about marketing and the language that Apple has chosen to use. Um, I remember there was a different competing software conference, it may have been Google, about a year ago, and they would not stop saying AI. Um, you can choose to say AI over and over again. Um, does that make it true that you have invested more in AI and that you're doing a better job? I think a lot of what Apple um, already has in its products is to an extent AI powered, even if they're not using the words AI. Um, I do think they have more to share and um, need to say more, if not to um, actually catch up to at least, at the very least, correct the perception that they have um, lagged behind the competition.